Hi Saddleback, happy Thanksgiving and welcome to World AIDS Day weekend. As you may know, HIV and AIDS is a signature issue of our church. Our HIV and AIDS initiative is committed to offering compassion, community, and real solutions for people affected by and living with HIV and AIDS and teaching other churches to do the same. World AIDS Day weekend is the time each year when we pause to remember those who have lost their lives and stand with the rest of the world in affirming our commitment to end AIDS. Some of you may be thinking, what is the big deal about HIV? It's not something we hear about often in the U.S., and some of that is good news, because medical advances now make it possible for people who are living with HIV to live long, full lives when taking their medication regularly. But the bad news is that of the 37 million people living with HIV worldwide, less than half are able to access life-saving treatment. AIDS is still the leading cause of death worldwide for women of reproductive age, and it continues to be the reason millions of children in Africa are growing up without a mom and dad. And despite the fact that we know how to prevent and treat HIV, today, this day, almost 6,000 people will newly acquire the virus, many of them youth ages 13 to 24. That's why as a church, our goal is to get to zero, zero new infections, zero AIDS-related deaths, zero stigma, zero babies born with HIV, and zero children living in orphanages in Rwanda. And because of the role of local churches can play in this fight, that's possible. A great example of the role the church can play is our Saddleback Manila campus, which started their campus's HIV ministry this year during the Miracle of Mercy campaign. They are reaching people living with HIV who have never before had a church family to call home, including families caring for children living with HIV, many of whom who were orphaned by the disease. In Rwanda, teams of ordinary Saddleback members are helping equip local churches with training to form HIV ministries and support groups. Churches are a linkage to care in areas where healthcare access is limited. Entire orphanages have closed as members of local Rwandan churches selflessly adopt children with support and training from our Saddleback Peace Teams, and Rwanda is on its way to becoming the first nation in Africa without orphanages. Ordinary Saddleback members are pushing back the darkness every day as they come alongside people living with HIV here in our communities, fighting against the isolation and stigma that so often surround this disease as they reach out in love with a call, a meal, and a simple act of friendship. None of these milestones took extraordinary medical knowledge or professional skill. Ordinary members of our church are getting to zero by showing up and caring for the sick like Jesus did. They are demonstrating the love of our Savior in practical, tangible ways, and you can too. There are simple ways you can make an impact by becoming a part of the HIV and AIDS initiative right here at Saddleback. We'll train you and offer simple things you and your small group can do with very little time that will make a difference in the life of someone living with HIV. When we reach out in love, we remind the world that it's not a sin to be sick, and your illness is not your identity. If you are living with HIV, know that you are welcomed and loved by your church. There is a place for you here. If you are unsure of your HIV status, I encourage you to get tested. It's quick and painless, and we're here to support you. Today, let's join together as a church family in prayer for people living with HIV and their loved ones. And find out ways you can play a role in getting to zero by visiting hivandthechurch.com or emailing aids at saddleback.com. Saddleback, this Thanksgiving weekend, I am so grateful for you as a church and the way that you hold out the love of Jesus to a world so in need of hope. Together, we can get to zero and end AIDS.